Amplify. Inspire. Act. This is Detroit 2020. There's an exciting new push to reverse the brain drain and bring young people back to Detroit. Community Next is launching a month-long series of events in major cities to raise money to subsidize next-generation adults looking to move back to Detroit. It's called the Live Detroit Fund, and people are taking action to do it for Detroit. Live Detroit, a unique effort by young Michiganders living all over the country to attract young people to Detroit. And this is really going to be part of a movement that's going to drive our generation to move to the city and rebuild it from the ground up. They figure $100,000 will allow them to subsidize the rent in Detroit of 25 so-called next generation individuals, young people who can make a change. If we can get 25 people to commit who can bring something to the table and bridge the gap between the ideas and the talent, I think that's when you start seeing change. And in typically next generation fashion, they've got a unique plan to raise money. Through the month of August in L.A., Chicago, New York, and Detroit, there will be charity softball, kickball, even a dodgeball tournament. They're going from 25 people to 50 to 100 to 200 to 500. And that was Jordan Wolf. You just saw at the end of that piece and joins us now live to tell us about it. So first of all, you're raising $100,000 to attract 25 young people. Yes, that's correct. That's the goal. The initial goal is to get uh, raise $100,000 and uh, each uh, person will get up to uh, $250 a month in a rent subsidy for up to one year uh, to move to the city of Detroit. Now, you started Community Next less than two years ago. You've already got 4,000 people involved in this. Why do you care so much about Detroit bringing young people back here? Yeah, you know, I think... Uh, at least for me and uh, for my peers, and it's the, this is representative, the Live Detroit Fund initiative is, there's, a, there's an opportunity here. If you look at an economic opportunity, the opportunity to have an impact to someone in their 20s, it's like no other place in the country, and it's my hometown. So uh, for me, it's almost like I feel very fortunate to be in the position. So. so 25, I guess the question I need to ask, 25 is not a lot. That's not a lot of people. So what do you hope that they are just planting seeds, I guess? Yeah, no, absolutely. That's what it's about. If you think about it, though, it's, it's much more than just the 25 people that are going to move downtown. We have probably close to, have close to a thousand participants across all of our um, initiatives um, the month of August. And in addition to that, we have the dodgeball initiative, which we're hoping to get up to 10,000 people to break uh, the Guinness Book of World Records. And that's on Belle Isle on the 20th of August? Correct. Okay. Correct. So what do people say to you? You know, when you're con convincing other people to come back to Detroit, start a business, or be a young person and, and make a difference. I mean, what do people say to you about Detroit? I think there's mixed emotions. I think uh, um, for a, a long time, the nation's been down on our down on our hometown. Uh, but I, I like to say, you know, if we do our job, in five years, we'll be able to talk to the majority of young people, and this would be an att a very attractive place holistically. We're really focused on what we call kind of the influencers and the change agents, the ones that find it a very interesting time, an opportunity to help rebuild um, the atmosphere. So um, I'm not focused on how do we get everyone to come here. I, I'm focused on how do we get a certain segment of that, of that population. Now, a lot of people are baffled because you say, you know, come to Detroit. There's so much to offer, and, and people who have thought of Detroit as being a certain way for so long don't understand that. So what is it that you can tell young people or that young people are seeing in Detroit that does make it an attractive place? You know, you're you're looking at a place that has uh, pretty close to three million people in the metro area, um, as much wealth as made many ma metropolitan areas, and major and it's spread out. So all the assets are here, and you have um, uh, so many great things going on in the city. So. It's the only, one of the only places in the country that has been this depressed for a while, and um, but the assets and the wealth and the people are here. So it's like, how do you find the net, connect? I call it connection through innovation. Mm -hmm. So if we can connect the networks and start working together, everything else is here. The re, you know the ingredients for the recipe is here. So. Now, now, Jordan, talk about your own experience because I know you left your hometown, you lived away from here, and then you came back and moved right into the heart of Detroit. Like, what's it been like for you? It's been a it's been a really uh, interesting experience. I came back in 2008. Um, and that's right when the auto companies, you know, <laughs> were, really, uh, were really down. And uh, what's been amazing for me is um, I've been always involved in the technology industry and the startup uh, world. 
and just the change over the past few years in mindset among the region about, I think, people came to the realization that it, we need to diversify the economy. It's not going to be just the automobile that's going to, you know, that's going to bring us back. And so for me, seeing that evolution and acceptance um, and desire to look at new emerging industries and technology is, has been a, a pretty cool experience. Okay, last question. So you're going to put $100,000 on the table to attract 25 young people, innovators, people who can be that seed for you. How are you going to choose those 25 people? And if they're watching right now, how do they get in touch with you and say, I want to be one of those people? <laughs> Absolutely. So um, the number one thing we're looking for is, I mean, is about, it's about community, right? So the biggest difference between what we're doing and other incentive and initiatives through the state and the city is these are the next generation taking ownership of this. And it's about creating the underbelly, that I call it, the energy. Um, so we're about people who want to build community. So part of the subsidy is the requirement is you're actually going to throw or be part of one substantial community, uh, community event mm. a month. So that's a big uh, part uh, to the puzzle for when, we look at it, when we're looking at applicants. Wow, so they're just not going to move here. They're going to make a difference here. Absolutely. And uh, you said to give more information, you can go to doitfordetroit.com. Um, and that, can li that links out to all of our individual events, and including the information about the Live Detroit Fund. Wow. And the dodgeball tournament. And the dodgeball And plus, we've got all of this on Detroit2020.com. We're going to have the story that you saw a moment ago. We'll have this interview here and all the information. So please plan to uh, take a look at it. Yeah, and if you know somebody exciting. who plays that part, get them down yeah. here. Young okay. people getting involved. Great. Thank you so much, Jordan Wolf.